Hi, welcome to the workshop here at the Slot Machine Depot. And as you can see, right beside me is a very rare machine indeed, the AC Multi Bell. It's a machine that uh, we've never worked on before, so we're going to do a video of me stripping this down every single nut and bolt of this mechanism. We're going to clean this up repair it as it's not paying out correctly at the moment and anyone that knows this mechanism will know it's totally different to any other manufacturer. It's unique in how it works and I'll give you the details as we strip it down. Over a 30 year period we've worked on Mills, Sagers, Watlins, Jennings, Pace, you name it we've stripped it down and rebuilt it but never one of these. And also the mechanism works entirely different to how majority of slot machines work on the market over the years. It's also got a very complex escalator at the top because it plays seven coins in any one play. So we're gonna take this apart you can follow along on the journey. There's very little detail about these. There's no workshop manual. So everything will be on the fly, guesswork. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a journey. We might make some mistakes along the way, but it should be fun learning about this absolutely incredible mechanism. So sit back and enjoy uh, this very special video presentation from the Slot Machine Depot on the AC Multibell. Okay, we've paused the video for the simple reason the original one that I uploaded to YouTube of breaking this mechanism down went for over an hour. And after several comments from people that said that it was a little bit boring and they would get a better thrill from watching paint dry, it's no Hollywood production, I decided to re-upload it with an edited version and overview. Okay, so what we're going to do is first of all uh, remove this plate from the front. Now this is all original so I don't want to do any damage to this. So what we have here is the breakdown of the multi-bell from AC Novelty. Made in 1936, one of the things I found while stripping this down was the fact that it was unlike any bell mechanism so there was no workshop manual for this so everything was just done as you see it taking it apart sometimes in the incorrect order but it did come apart quite freely uh, the whole mechanism was covered in uh, grime and grease and unfortunately the grease had dried out which is what caused things like non payouts and the slow turning of the reels so as you can see here, everything is coming apart nicely. It's a shame that these machines flopped after two years. Now I know that the parts were sold to a third party and they will continue to be made during the war years, but uh, the AC Novelty did only make these for two years. Had trouble getting some of the parts out and one of the things I did note that on several occasions when you took a part off it was connected by around four or five springs and different levers and rods and when you took it apart it kind of all sprung out which took me a long time to figure out how to put back Had trouble getting out the vertical pay arms you needed five pairs of hands to do it so here we have the completed mechanism of the AC multi bell totally stripped down right down to every component and as you can see we've also cleaned up all the individual components they're not spotless and we did that deliberately because we want to keep the patina and the originality so as mentioned before, didn't want to bead blast them, didn't want to take it back to a shiny, brand new, out of the showroom look. So we just cleaned them up, put a bit of uh, degreaser, and that's how they've turned out. Now we have the mammoth task of rebuilding it, putting everything back together again. And this is where the fun begins. So let's hope we remember where everything came from. So let's get started. 
The rebuilding of the mechanism of the multi-bell did take us a lot longer than it would normally on a standard bell mechanism and that was purely because not having any instructions whatsoever sometimes we had to remove things a couple of times to put it in a different order but apart from that everything seemed to go back quite well we managed to fit everything back and it runs smoothly so in classic special effects mode let's time warp to when it was completed so after two days of a total strip down of the mechanism for every nut and bolt it's all been put back together tested there's still a couple of issues i need to sort out uh, coins are taking a little bit longer to drop down but that might just be the gap just a little bit too tight but we'll see on that so the reason I've paused it here is because I made a mistake there. There was nothing wrong with the way the coins dropped down from the escalator. Kaylee designed it like this because they realised if you drop seven coins down a runway at the same time and into a tube, they're likely to block up. So they release them one at a time slowly from one side to the other of the escalator. A very clever and uh, ingenious design. Once I've got all the mechanism done, I'm then going to uh, strip down the cabinet. So let's put a few coins in, the lemon and the plum. Got the plum and got eight coins.